Hello Geminis, this is your reading for the 10th through the 12th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, what messages do we have for Gemini in love for the 10th through the 12th? Gemini, what messages do we have for Gemini? Please show me messages for Gemini in love. Gemini. We have the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Some illusion going on here. Scorpio energy. Then we have the High Priestess. Definitely, I feel like there's something that um, that's going on with you guys that that you're not speaking of. Um, I'm getting this this sense of loneliness here. There's somebody that you're not talking to either. Piscean energy here as well. There's somebody that you're not speaking to and I feel like um, you feel very isolated from this individual. You feel very hurt. Okay. Then we have death there. I'm feeling like this person that you this person that you're not talking to, um, you want this stalemate to end. You want to see some change in this situation. If you haven't spoken to somebody for a while, I'm getting that you guys definitely want to um, have open communication. I feel like you have very, very strong feelings for this person here. Then we have the chariot here. Uh, a lot of water going on for you guys here. Okay. A lot of water. Cancer energy there. Hmm. I'm definitely saying that you guys would love to um, break the silence. I feel that you feel lonely right now. You're, you're really confused regarding this person. There's something that you're sharing with this person that's non-verbal. And it's quite possibly in your dreams that you are sharing um, uh, messages with this individual. And I feel like it's dredging up a lot of feelings in you that you really are not understanding fully. Okay. You're trying to figure out things here. Please show me more about the Seven of Cups energy. The Mother of Earth, which is a Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Hmm. This could definitely be apparent for some of you. Um, maybe some of you are estranged from your parents, uh, a mother in particular, um, or there is a grandmother of concern for some of you guys that you are really missing. You may be having dreams about your grandmother or your mother if they have passed on. Maybe you guys are having some communication with them via dreams even. I feel like this this individual is, is giving you some knowledge, is, is sharing some knowledge with you that you may not even um, be aware of. So if you're dreaming, sometimes you can't help if you remember the dream or not. But try to pay attention to your dreams if you guys are dreaming. But this could also be a partner for some of you whom you guys are missing. That you want to come out, break the break the silence with here. Please show me more about the high priestess energy. And then we have the world here. Hmm. There, there's definitely something that you would like to see a new start um, surrounding here because the world is about 
you know, ending things and new beginnings. I'm feeling like, you know, you guys are wanting to, you're wanting to have a new start with someone here. There's something that you're, you're hoping to accomplish in this situation. Some of you actually are, you know, would love to see your, you know, your your loved one who has passed on, you would like to see them come through to you in your dreams to give you some clarity, to give you some guidance even. Hmm. Please show me more about the death energy here. Please show me more about death. Temperance. This is all about getting back together. I'm feeling like you guys definitely want to make an offer to someone to start over. You're wanting to be happy with this person. You want to show this person also that there has been a change in you. Um, you've had some things going on I feel like that you would love to share with this person. Hmm. Please show me more about the chariot energy here. And then we have the magician in reverse. You really don't feel like you can make this happen. You really don't feel like um, you're not confident that you guys can get past whatever issues that you have had. So you can move forward here. You're upside down here with the magician. You're upside down here. Because what I'm getting is that, you know, what's needed in this situation is for you to gain some harmony within your life. And I feel like you guys are really, you know, you're trying to do that here with the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess, and the world here. You're really wanting to... Um, you really want to start over. Some of you are actually, you know, you live across the world from this person or you live very far away from this person. It's not just a skip and a hop to get to them. And you may need to travel to this person to be able to, you know, really communicate effectively with them, maybe face to face even. I'm definitely getting that you guys want to tell this person that, you know what, you've changed and you want to offer your emotion to them. But you're really not sure if, um, you know, things are going to work out the way that you want it to. And I think that's why you, some of you are looking for guidance. You're looking for um, reassurance in some way. was coming towards you here. Let's see what this is. I think it's spun around here. Then we have the magician. Again, repeating itself. Maybe another um, Gemini individual, I feel, with Aries in their chart. This is somebody that definitely is trying to manifest a um, not only stability within personal stability, but this person is trying to manifest a relationship um, into their life, a happy, stable relationship here. Hmm. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I feel like this person has a lot of, um, what do you call it? This person's a go-getter. This person sees what they want, and they are somebody that is determined to get it. very excited about it. I also see this person starting um, some new venture, some new business venture even. Uh, very excited about it. Very energetic. <clears throat> and the strength. Yes. You see how the, the magician and the lady in the strength, she's taming this lion basically to to get what, to get where she needs to be, okay? And you see they both have the wand in their hand here. This is all about being sure of yourself. 
that whatever you need to do to you know be able to obtain your goals that's what they do this is what they do I don't know if this person's always been this way but they have a lot of um, uh, fire in them a lot of active um, energy there's nothing stagnant about this person currently they may have been before but they have a lot of forward movement I feel I'm feeling like this person um, you know they're moving forward they're still in your energy though but I don't see them um, concentrating on a connection here and maybe it's because you guys have not spoken or you live far away from each other this person may feel like you know it's over you know they may feel like it's over especially with death being here I definitely feel like this is something that um, you know ended between you guys with death and the the world here which is an ending um, definitely there's something that ended between the two of you but this person is starting something new here okay but they fought for it I'm getting that this person fought to be where they are right now okay so again we have Scorpio energy um, strong here Pisces Cancer uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn sorry guys <clears throat> And then we have um, we have Leo here, Aquarius energies here, Sagittarius is here, Taurus is here. I think I already said Taurus with um, the Queen of Pentacles there, and uh, Aries. Aries is definitely here. I feel like this is Aries with air in their chart. Um, either Aries with air in their chart or Leo with Aries um, air in their chart here okay so that is what I have for you guys and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon